Hello everybody, it's Tina at Tina Stitches. Welcome to my channel. My name is Tina and I stitch. That's hence the name. Uh, mostly cross stitch, but I have um, ventured into knitting, crocheting, and sewing. So Tina Stitches covers it all. Um, today is March 30th. It is 3.30 in the afternoon and now that I glance outside, it is just a little bit of snow happening out there. So, yay Canada. Um, yeah, I live in Canada and it's cold where I am. It's just the way it is. I don't mind it because I don't have those weird um, tropical storms or hurricanes or any of those kinds of things to worry about or the you know poisonous bugs and stuff so I will just be content with the cold so um, what have I been up to lately not a whole lot mostly just work and stitch work and stitch so it's been about three weeks since my last update and I got a lot of stitching in mostly on two projects but I did pick up um, four other projects and I will show you all of those today I got a little bit of haul um, I also got a tax refund, which meant a little bit of shopping, so did the responsible thing and paid down the big high interest credit cards and spent a little bit of my refund on some stuff which should be coming in. Some of it I expect shortly and some of it will take a while, so I'll show you those when they come in. And uh, for those who are wondering, Khaleesi, the newest addition, is settling in quite well. She is just laying on the rug over there, having a little snooze. So we'll see if the other dogs start barking out in the hallway or not. But for now, we will just deal with it the way it is. Um... I was on Virtual Stitchers last night, and I met Angela and Lisa, and I uh, just want to say hi. And um, that was fun. Um, I'm going to be checking out a couple of other Lost Tube channels, and uh, they're in my lineup ready to go. So, anyways... You're here to see the stitching, not to hear what I'm listening to or talking. Not, you're here to see the stitching, not to hear what I'm watching. So, I think I will start with the projects. We'll go with the small projects to the big projects. How about that? So last night, while I was on Virtual Stitchers, it was also Friday Off the Grid um, party. I'm going to move this. It's going to wobble a little bit. Sorry. And I decided to pick up something that I hadn't worked on for a while. It had been neglected. I started it in Mania. 2017 and it didn't get a lot of attention since then so I decided to pick it up again because it really won't take much to finish it and that is the mom quadriel my sweetheart tree And, um, like I said, I started this in 
2017, Romania, and I'm not going to take it out of the Q-snap because I'm comfortable with the setup. So the, the other M is over here, but it looks pretty much the same as this M. And um, all that I got done that whole stitching session was um, when I took a picture, it was after that uh, it was after I had already stitched this line. So, but that line wasn't stitched and neither were seven out of the eight corner eyelets here. There's four eyelets in each corner. And neither was this little bit of line work. So that's what I worked on when I was on virtual stitchers chatting away. And it was late and the light was dim. And I stitched the pink the wrong color. It's supposed to be a dark pink. And I stitched it in the medium pink. So that's uh, uh, something that has to be frogged and fixed. And I'm thinking about making this my take-to-work project because my current take-to-work project is very close to being finished. So, I'll put this one away and show you the current take-to-work project. And that is being stitched on the called for, it was a kit, so it's um, lamb's wool linen and uh, DMC and Threadworks floss that came with the kit. This is Mirabilia's portrait of antique vines. I'm stitching it in the called for colors which you can see there's your list which I think it's four shades of water lilies and DMC black and here's where I am so I have four out of three out of the five colors finished there's just a very small amount of the darker pink to go up there and then just the lighter pink around the border and then the back stitching and beads and I might be able to finish this on Monday because we will be waiting in the hospital an appointment for an outpatient procedure so I will be taking this with me and probably the mum quadrille just in case this gets finished up to beading I'm not going to bead in the hospital so there's that and I will put a picture where it was before So, there's that. That one was my new year, new start, I believe. Next. So, that one I worked on for about 12 days. Yeah, 12 days. Um, Monday to Thursday at lunch, basically. 
Friday. I don't really sit down at lunch because it's a short day for us. That's just the schedule. So, the other project that I worked on. Can you guess? It is in here somewhere. And once again, this is being stitched on 32 count Gothic Lugano by Picture This Plus. I am constantly forgetting to tell you my fabric and other details. This one is Alice by RTM, and I will insert a picture where it was before. And here it is now. And this is actually um, the entire width across this page high is all completely finished. Um, over here, I still had these these two hearts and diamond to finish, so that finished off that page. Over here, I had all of this to finish, which some of you may remember was my um, Gentle Art Sampler Thread Die Lot issue. And I also had to finish this, and these, basically this section here was not stitched at all. Now, the lighting is not the best, but you can kind of see where, <clears throat> where the threads change on the Tea Party part there. And what I did was, this part was already stitched, and <clears throat> when I got the new thread in, I started at the bottom to see how much of a contrast there was, and there was quite a bit of contrast. So what I did was I took um, DMC 8, Pull it out here and show you. Or can I? So on here I have both the old and the new color and I don't know if you're going to be able to see it very well but anyways to tone down the new color I added eight 
33 and I used one strand of each and that's what I stitched in between the two sections from here down to here and I had considered picking out the very bottom and redoing it but I decided that I liked that it almost gives it a little bit more dimension because it has those darker shades that look almost like shadows so I'm going to leave it and the rest of the design where it calls for that color and I should mention this is not the called for color I'm doing my own conversion with overdyed the entire chart charted with DMC and I decided to switch it up. So this is my color conversion. Uh, if you want to know my color conversion, ask me and I will um, try to type it up and send it off in the email or something like that. So this is my conversion and it's on my hand dyed fabric, I dyed myself, 32 count white opalescent that I dyed with grit liquid. So this is how far I am now. I, this pretty much shows you everything. There's a little bit more to the queen's dress, but not a whole lot. And, um, I'm going to have to check. I don't know if this will qualify for Ginger Gerald's contest or not. But it is a pretty big project and I don't know if it's supposed to be full coverage or not. This is definitely not full coverage, so if it doesn't qualify, it doesn't qualify. But maybe I'll enter it just because it'll give me incentive to get it finished and I have I am running out of time to get it finished because my birthday is in July and I want to start a new Alice for my birthday. So anyways, here is where I'm at. And put these away now. So that's the third project. Is that three? I'm counting like five. One, two, three, four, five seven that I worked on and that was three I'll be right back okay I'm back I nearly forgot a project I only worked on it for a day I only worked on three of these things for one day like the mom quadrille that was just last night. Um, Alice I had worked on for about eight days it looks like and this one was one day and that's because I'm following along, kind of following the Aussie Stitchers um, Queens of the Seasons stitch along that they're doing for the Mirabilia, but I'm not doing Mirabilia's Queens. Instead, I'm doing Dressmaker's Daughter, but I'm sticking with their seasons. So I started spring, 
when it was autumn here and I went to summer when it turned to winter and March 20th I believe was the first day of spring in Canada and so I pulled out this one and worked on it for that day and actually I think I think I worked on it a day late this is being stitched on Extrude Designs Linen. I know I have the name. Sweet Lavender, 32 count Belfast. And started autumn. As you can see, the rests are just barely started. And there's the start for autumn. And I was constantly going back to the photo to reassure myself that yes, it really is a yellow background. So that's where I am with that. And I do like this design and I really want to stitch on it more. But I have other big projects that I want to stitch on as well. So this one is beautiful, but it's not a high priority at the moment. Um, part of the reason is because I don't have a frame I can dedicate to it. Yet. Or do I? No, I keep, I keep, I keep trying to put that piece of fabric on a scroll frame that I have in my closet and every time I look at that frame I'm like, maybe it'll fit on that. It never does. It doesn't matter how many times I look at it. It's not going to fit. It's like four inches too long. Well, the fabric is four inches too long. I like scroll frames. And I've become a fan of Q-snaps lately. I order more. <laughs> the next one that I'm going to show you is out of this older magazine. This is from March 1998. And the design is That one there, but I'll, I'll insert a better picture. This is not cross stitch, but like I said, it's Tina stitches. And Here is where I'm at now. And I'm pretty sure, um, yeah, I'm pretty sure all that I've done is just a couple more rows of beads. But the rows are getting shorter and shorter, so that will be finished in a short period of time. Um, this is my, uh, low budget, high effectively, highly effective method of beading 
it is just a piece of lint paper lint roller paper and um, it works it's low tack and low budget and works for me um, I have decided to take out this dark gold I am NOT a fan of it and I'm going to switch it out to PB03 which is much lighter um, yeah I think it'll go better with these beads so that's England's Rose Needlepoint Design from the Stitcher's World Magazine and 11 count mono canvas for Needlepoint and that I worked on one day that was this morning and now for the big projects which one do I show you first? Let's go with this one. This is Beloved by Adele Sessler, charted by Heaven and Earth Designs. And I am stitching mine two over one half cross on 25 count white even weave. And I unrolled it for some people who want to see all of it. And here's where it is. Let's put a before picture. And here's where it is now. I've been working on the base. that part of her crown and face. This is really hard to manage. Um, yeah. A few other people are stitching this and on the live um, YouTube live thing that Sam J hosts, I was on the last one and I explained my plans there because uh, um, the lovely lady from Magic Pond Crafts is also stitching this and she's stitching hers four over one on I think it's four over one on 14 count. I could be wrong, but go check her out. She does some amazing designs as well. But yep, yeah, this is, this line here is the halfway point. So there's two pages here and this right there, that's the edge of this page. And I was filling in up along this line here and over to count for my um, 12, 1200 stitches 
for the Full Coverage Fanatics Challenge. And I made it, and it's not April yet, so this has been worked on every day up until Thursday, just passed, because that's when I hit my mark. And then I put it aside and worked on um, English Rose. So that's where that one's at. I will have to take a picture of that while it's unrolled, while it's off the stand to update my progress pictures and that is not the last project this last project i've worked on almost every day i'm not in any kind of competition or challenge or any of those but except for myself like I you know there is the hundred day of Hague challenge I think and the hundred days of Chatelaine I am just you know kind of doing those try to work on those two pieces every day <clears throat> just to keep them going so my Chatelaine is right here and it's got all kinds of hair on it. Here's a picture of what it's supposed to look like. And where it was before. And here it is now. It really needs to be ironed. This is Royal Tudor Garden Mandala by Chatelaine. And I had been, I, I don't think I showed this corner after I finished it and then I moved my Q-snap and came up here and was working on this section, I think, when I did my last video. So here is the black work corner that I changed from, I'm not entirely sure I think it's supposed to be a really dark green according to the instructions but I decided to go with that PB0 sorry little bit of editing will happen so here we go PB05 is what I did my black work corner in there and it's hard to tell but it's really sparkly my fabric is also really sparkly it is 32 count opalescent white Lugana. I believe it's Lugana. And so then I had issues with the colors which I explained in the last video with this these four the selection of gardens here fixed those, went over to the crown. Did I have the crown finished? I think I had the crown. Maybe I didn't. So I worked on that. 
I worked on that and I worked on the king's crown and obviously they call it the king's crown because it's the biggest one out of the two and my Jessica stitches there for the pearls are not quite the way they're supposed to be but I'm happy with it and I worked just a little bit more going up because I had it on the cue snap and so I worked over here and over here and I took it off the cue snap for the video took it off the cue snap for a prog progress shot and to move it and figured it's a good time to do video because I'm now going to go in this direction. So all of this is going to be repeated down here. And in a different colored crown. So that's the plan. I have decided to go ahead and order an Omenic quantum frame for this. So that's one of the purchases that I know is going to take a while to get here. And this is not nearly as sparkly as it's supposed to be because I do not have any of the beads on it yet. It will be very, very sparkly. So that is all of my whips. There were a lot. There was a lot of good progress made on <clears throat> the three main projects that I worked on. That's the Mandela, Beloved and Portrait of Vines. Um, <clears throat> those are the ones that are my focus pieces for a while. Um, but I think I am going to add Alice in there into the. I, there's no way I'm adding the, these two into Ginger Gerald's uh, contest because <laughs> there's no way I'm going to get those done in the next couple of months. So we'll see if Alice will qualify. Um, that'll get me moving on that. So now on to plans you pretty much know. <clears throat> I, I did order a few things from 123. I just placed that order today, so I don't know when that's going to get here. They're usually pretty quick. Uh, one of the things in it is going to be it's another sweetheart tree design and I think I'm gonna stitch it for somebody who's leaving but maybe not we'll see um, haul that I got since my last video is um, the Mirabilia Spring Queen that I won on Caroline's Just Because on her Friday off the grid. And there it is. I have no immediate plans to start this because I have about five other mirrors that I want to work on. I have two that I am working on and two that are kitted up to go. So this is not going to happen right away. But I've been wanting this one. I have the Winter Queen. And I'm just looking for the other two now. Summer and Fall. And the Royal Holiday. So, I... That's that. <laughs> I don't know. I know some of them are out of print. 
but I'm not, you know, going to pay a fortune for any of them. It is what it is. If I come across it and, you know, this, this was a great win for me. I entered it because it's something that I like and I was able to win it. So that was just a bonus. And it was especially nice because that's when uh, my husband was in the hospital for the colitis attack. So it was a little pick me up. She just finally got it in the mail. So that's it for haul. And really that's about all there is. Um, I'm not in the School of Magical Stitches, but if anybody knows of a whip that, not a whip, but a stitch with me set up where they're doing Game of Thrones, I would be interested in doing something like that. I've been thinking about rewatching my DVDs because I have all the box sets so far. And um, Stephanie's birthday sal, I did not sign up for, but I was looking at it and it was my Royal Tudor Mandela would have fit like six out of the seven days I think it was so I should have but I didn't it's it is what it is um, I'm gonna stitch on those things anyway so I don't think that uh, there's anything else I am going to go catch up on floss tube I saw that Crafty Lisa put up another video. I've been following her progress on her Royal Tudor Mandala. And, um, yeah, I think that's about all that there is. Nothing spectacular happening in life. Um, like I said, Khaleesi's getting along with the other dogs. We were joking last night on um, Virtual Stitchers about how my my poor dog and uh, there's another lady whose dog is also going blind. And it's just, it's sad, but it's funny to watch them run around like they know the area and there's something in their way and they knock it over. And um, that's happened with Gonzo and Khaleesi a couple of times because she matches the floor and he just bumps right into her and she's not so happy about it. So she doesn't exactly get along with him, but they tolerate each other, which is pretty much what I expected from Gonzo. Um, yeah, she's settled in quite well. I will move the camera and show you there she is you're probably wondering why there's a book under the cabinet there um that is because of digit Gidget has, she has a ball fascination, an absolute obsession. It's actually worn down her teeth and we really should take the balls away. Um, but the tennis ball is her absolute favorite thing. And she's learned to manipulate it when you smack it a certain way, like you push your paw down, it will spin and go wherever you want it. She does that to get it to go under the cabinet. So instead of us getting all the way down to see where the ball is, that's why there's that finder there to keep the ball from going all the way under. 
And uh, when she does it, I actually take her ball and I put it up on the bookshelf and say, that's too bad. It's mine now. Um, so she doesn't do that when I'm around, but she still does, does do it on occasion, especially when she wants attention. Anyways, I am going to have to leave now. I hear my beloved Gonzo snorting outside the door because he wants attention. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe and thank you for sticking around. Uh, <clears throat> you can also find me on Instagram at Tina Stitches 74 and um, I'm on some various Facebook pages as well. And I guess that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye.